Hello and welcome to Insights with Thomas Caldwell on Thursday, December the 7th, 2023. Tom, this is our last Insights for 2023. Um, I want to take a look back at the year. It, there's been a lot of negativity, but what I want to do is find out what inspired you the most throughout 2023. Well, I, I think the inspiration was the resiliency of capital markets, particularly equity markets, primarily in the US, but Canada to a lesser degree, continued on, that continued to be positive uh, in the face of a, a real dearth of leadership in the world. All across, I mean, Canada is not as a standout, but every place in the world. So I, I think that was the fact that markets are still functioning. You have ideologues with their pet projects, their vote getter projects that are really counterproductive to an economy yet the economy still prevailed, more so in the States than in Canada. And if you look at this year, you had rising interest rates trying to cut inflation that governments caused with their spending. You had horrendous events geopolitically on the world stage, whether it be in the, in the Ukraine, whether it be in the Middle East, you've had all of these, and, and also Middle East, other areas, Yemen, et cetera. So there's a lot of tragedy going on, but the resiliency is there in face of rising rates, geopolitical challenges, lack of leadership. The key is money is still finding productive uses. That's, that's the inspiring thing, believe it. I know it's, a, it's a, a sort of a bland thing to be inspired about, but it does give you confidence that markets can function. And if people are left alone, they will make the best decisions for themselves. We don't need to have things imposed on us by government, but governments haven't, qu haven't got quite that message yet. <laughs> okay, so let's move on to the markets. Regarding the markets, what are you looking forward to in 2024? Well, I'm becoming quite boring, as you know. I, I <laughs> really keep saying I'm an optimist because optimists are richer than pessimists. But if we look into next year, it's an election year, uh, and people love to throw money and policies around in election years in the United States. Um, the governments have not got the message about cutting spending. There's no talk of that. You don't see that in the papers anywhere. Governments are still spending money trying to buy votes, so the economy is going to stay fairly resilient. It looks as if interest rates have topped out for now, give or take. If anything, they might ease off a tiny bit. Stay the same or down a tiny bit. Um, I think uh, if you look at markets, private equity markets have been very active this year. Uh, not as active as every year, but it's actually picked up more active than, say, the public markets. So I do think the markets will be positive in the coming year. And I speak of equity markets, and like this past year has been a very good one. The main pool I run is up approximately 20% year to date. So, you know, it's been a good year, so we have no complaints, but I'm still positive on next year despite all the turmoil that's going on. And I think a lot of this turmoil, particularly the geopolitical, is going to get resolved one way or the other. And uh, that's my basic point. But this is, again, our last meeting before the New Year. So to my Jewish friends, you're coming up to Hanukkah. It's not one of the high holidays, but the symbolism is so important. Remember at Hanukkah, the lanterns kept burning when they didn't have the fuel for more than one day. They went for eight days, I believe. And just remember, this is a dark period for my Jewish friends. Just remember, the lights didn't go out, and they're not going to go out now. Christmas, as a Christian, this is a time of renewal. It's a time of reconciliation. Uh, and as a Christian, you believe God gave his son to us. And the best gift you can give everybody, I hate to say this for the commercials out there, give yourself. Do something for someone else, your family. Spend time with people. That's the real gift of Christmas. So whatever you're celebrating, God bless you. Have a good holiday. Thank you so much, Tom. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. Bye for now.